Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. Another day of massive waves coming in, heat waves all over this realm. We're having an uptick in earthquake activities and massive solar waves, cosmic rays coming into this field, into this realm. Keep riding those waves. We're filling them through our vessels, through our avatars as we're being transformed and uplifted through this ascension spiral. Now today, as of recording this, on the 27th, it is the cosmic turtle moon of presence in the Mayan calendar from the dream spell journey by Volume Votan and Bolon Ik, the 13th moon year. Today starts the 13th moon, or cosmic moon, 28-day month, of the dream spell 13 moons count this is the last moon of the solar year and it is coded 13 1 exactly number 13.1 is a fractal of the kin 131 that sits at the center of the zolkin matrix and the harmonic 33 according to the planetary service wave spell each of the 13 moons months has a function and it is associated with a totem animal the cosmic turtle brings the 13th moon of presence from 27th of June until 24th of July. Key movement, how can I expand my joy and love? This is a special moon for us because tortuga is Spanish for turtle. Kin bearer, kin 245. The kin bearer of this 13th moon is today's kin 245. The Spectral Serpent, Eleven Serpent. The Kin 245 is one of the 13 clear signs of the Pakal Votan, according to the Telectanon prophecy presented by Volon Votan and Bolon 1994 to 1995. The sign corresponds to the Mayan glyph of Eleven Chikchan in the Maya real time. One of the inscriptions found on the borders of the sarcophagus lid of the legendary Maya king. Pakal the Great. Kin 245 is also mentioned in the Telectanon of the Pakal Votan, verse 73. And here we have the 73 again. Many 73s, 37s coming into the field today. And this is from verse 73. The false one from Babylon will return to be embraced by the eleven serpent. Then the day of truth will come, the seven years of prophecy. And I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can do more research on the Pakal Votan. Equally re relevant, Kin 245 is coded 11.19 or 1911, wave spell 19, tone 11. It is the same 1911 code of the ascension of Valam Votan on Kin 89. Wave spell of seal 19, tone 11. It also syncs with the 1911 code of the 1919 crystal matrix. External matrix of 19 times 19, or 19 by 19. Internal matrix of 11 by 11. So the 911 is coming through the field. 1911, 1111, 1911. Therefore, the 19. Point one one code has the power to stop falsehood and corruption in order to unleash the day of truth, which is the return to the sacred way, where time is art. So we're shifting from this concept of where time is money to time is art. Art will be part of our transition, our transformation, and all arts through all realms. And this was the return to the sacred way, where time is precious and presence is prescience, and being creative, and living from the heart, bringing our heart in the, the field of art into this realm. Kin bearer, fractal count, kin 26. The 20 tablets publication presented by Volom Votan and Bolon Ilk in 1997 established a new connection between the 13 moon, 28 day count of 364 plus 1 days and the galactic count of 260 days. On this fractal count, each of the 260 units of the Zolkin corresponds to one moon of 28 days. For example, the year 1, Alpha, which is the beginning, 
of 16-year cube of the law corresponded to the planetary service wave spell of the dragon, kin 1 to kin 13. Following this fractal count, the current 13-moon-year planetary service wave spell, years 2018 to 2019, corresponds to the wizard wave spell. Therefore, this entire cosmic turtle moon is coded by kin 26, the cosmic world bridger. And that's very important because the world bridgers are the star seeds, and this is through the rainbow bridge, the cosmic bridge, and these rainbow waves that are coming into the field now. And we're grounding these codes, these cosmic codes, these higher codes from the higher dimensions into the lower 3D false matrix to help with this ascension process. Kin 26 is a relevant prophetic number. It represents the power of 13 doubled, or 13 plus 13 equals 26. It is a fractal of 260. The numeric code of the sacred Zolkin count, Kin 26, is equivalent to the ancient Maya sign of 13 Kimi, K-I-M-I, which is 13 death, one of the 13 clear signs inscribed on the sarcophagus lid of Pakal. 13 Kimi mark the second birth of the Palenque Triad of Gods, who is the third god in importance. This deity is scientifically known as Gil, God 3, or G3, and represents the death of the sun during the night and its passage through the underworld, Shibaba, before resurrecting again at dawn. G3 was born four days after the great deity of the triad, Nine Lil, Balon, LK Kin 22 on the long count date of 1.18.5.3.6, 13 Kimi Kin 26. For the same reason, the triad's first two born are also referred to as the Hero Twins. 13 Kimi is also part of the inscriptions on the throne of the Temple 19, alongside the glyph of Nine Ilk, or Balon. According to Valon Votan, this clear sign is a fractal analog of the 13 Kimi on the throne and on the tomb of Palau Pakal Votan. Therefore, it confirms the roles of the Balon and the Valum Kutan Votan emanations within a new revelation, which includes the Balon Lilk, Chronicles of the Matrix, the Seven Leaves of the Book of Seven Generations. Kin 245, Red Spectral Serpent. I dissolve in order to survive, releasing instinct. I seal the store of life force with the spectral tone of liberation. I am guided by my own power doubled. I am a polar kin. I transport the red galactic spectrum. So that's from Dream Spell Journey. Now this following transmission is from Sandra Walter. Initiation of the 2020 Gateway, Freedom and the New. Blessing, beloveds, Friday, June 14th, initiated the opening of the Solstice Eclipse Gateways, and more importantly, the 2020 Timeline Energies. In the last few months, we have had major collective shift points. Now we move into the higher collective timelines, which have a major impact on our service, life streams, and ascension process. The higher realms emphasize how strong of a transformation point this is, Many will not realize what just occurred until later this year. Embodiment, the ability to merge with the higher self through the body and take on the Christed state of consciousness, was activated in the High Vibe tribe that continues to amplify and expand and is a true blessing to the embodiers as well as the collective. Embodiment changes everything because it holds the Christus vi Christed vibration within the collective human heart grid Gaia and across the dimensions and densities. It is a multidimensional trigger which allows higher states of the ascension to unfold. A major shift point, no going back. The embodiment triggered two vital steps in our evolution, a collective timeline shift and the unification of the crystalline grid systems on June 4th. We move forward as a collective into the organic ascension timelines, which are all about freedom and unity and divine love. True crystalline consciousness in action. The grid system unification is a major milestone for gatekeepers, grid workers, and lightworkers. 
This was a merging of the inner earth, Lemurian grids, and ley lines, the past, with the new earth grids, the present, and the crystalline grids, the future. Two important, important points about this merge. You can see how this affected timelines by merging the past, present, and future grids to work in harmony and zero point. That in itself amplifies a mass awakening effect. However, the key for those working with the grids is this. No more clearing and repairing old lines, old stories, or memory from the old structures. Such freedom. Of course, we will continue to amplify the photonic light quotient. The beautiful plasma crystalline light will flow easily, nearly effortlessly across all levels of the grids. The main point here is the complete surrender of old stories and memory, which used to be embedded in the old grids or ancient sites. Now the whole works as one, in alignment with the organic ascension timelines, which is our total focus. The now, the amplification, and the vibrancy of the new celebrate this tremendous accomplishment. Gone are the days of clearing and repairing. The old stories of suppression, victimization, separation, and damage is a long-ago memory. And as we know, memory creates the density of time, so this affects the collective experience as we embrace the freedom of our embodiment in this now. Initiation of the 2020 Timelines and Energies We now move into the 2020 Energies, Freedom. Higher expression, higher, higher levels of service. If you need support in choosing the highest path, referencing your service or getting to know your higher self, who may have a completely different agenda with the embodiment, Watch the Shifting to Embodiment Timelines webinar replay, a complete explanation on how these timelines work and tools to shift to the highest trajectory are there for you. As we go into unknown territory with this new level of consciousness, overriding our lower self, all can feel surreal. It may be challenging to make decisions, since we need to embrace a new way of creating our reality in the flow state of zero point. True crystalline, Christ, unity consciousness is a very different experience. We must make the conscious choice to fully accept this new level of light intelligence and learn how to complement the higher agenda of freedom. All flows from the heart, the thrill of the unknown, the most expansive dream. For most, this is still about surrendering the old. Lightworkers, you must make those higher choices in this now, especially with services and expressing your true self in creative ways. Spirituality is becoming mainstream due to the ascension energies, and we need quality, skilled, wise way showers to step up with their unique expression. For embodiers, there is a delicate balance of moving forward with the divine agenda of the higher path, while staying balanced in the surrealness of leaving old-time dynamics. Multidimensional awareness can handle much more information, creations, and ventures into the unknown. Use this phase to align with these higher trajectories. Solstice, Eclipse Gateway, All Hearts on Deck. Preparation for Solstice is well underway. This is a very sacred window for timeline shifting for a complete recreation of self as a purified and body expression of source. With a strong full moon, solstice, and solar eclipse on the way, we cleanse and clear our vessels, spaces, actions, words, and thoughts. Everything to align with the new timelines. Keep the objective of freedom and heart, which requires the complete surrender of limitation. Old feels gone in the state as if the past stories did not exist. This is the dissolvement of old timeline dynamics happening quickly as the density of memory and negative emotional imprints which created the denser timelines fades. You will eventually forget the old self, paying forward skills and lessons which serve the higher path. Many of us don't recognize ourselves. In this phase of migrating realities, the great in-between, we maintain the eye of the storm technique not swayed by the external projection of chaotic realities as timelines sort themselves out. Not attached to how it unfolds for others, let them have their journey. When awakened ones enter the calm in the middle, welcome them and support them. This freedom may not be welcomed by all. There are still old realities running in tandem. Those timelines are splintering off, losing control. Pay them no energy. Forgive it all. 
Encourage everyone to be diligent in their choices of what to amplify right now. Gently guide those who are still entangled in old agendas. They have shifted. Our focus is the new, creating solutions and full support for anyone choosing love and service to the whole. It is vital that lightworkers be unified in purpose and resist anything which seeks to divide us. Censorship and attempts to control are short-lived. In our wisdom we express fully and openly to stay aligned with the higher timeline. No judgment of old tactics or divisions of worlds. Love them up to speed with the new. Celebrate this transformation. Focus on your personal narrative as an expression of divine love. We are completely capable of raising the entire collective into peace, harmony, and divinity. That is the true power and purpose of embodiment in this now. Watch your words and thoughts. You are a stronger creator than ever. Divine neutrality paired with movement in the direction of your highest trajectory will serve you well. Unified activations utilizing the embodiment and higher timelines. As we unify in this new light, the power of co-creation amplifies. Everything we direct our focus to becomes accelerated because of the collective acceleration of our higher vibration. Remember the quantum effect of unified DNA. We are truly getting a taste of the new consciousness in action. Drop your fears and doubts and be in unity now. High Vibe Tribe, this is a passage to fully embrace your purpose as a creator being, both personally and collectively. Opportunities to unify during the influx events. We're coming up to June 30th. This Sunday, Global Unity Meditations at 5, 11 a.m., 11, 8, 11 a.m., 11, 11 a.m., and 5, 11 p.m. PDT. Opening for the strong influx of the eclipse. Remote influencing those higher timelines through unity, love, and highest intent. Tuesday, July 2nd at 12, 22 p.m. PDT time. Full solar eclipse and new moon. Be outside for this one. The influx will be a powerful DNA activation. Link your heart to the sun. Receive the solar flashing activity, which it already is in progress. Sunday, July 7th, Global Unity Meditations at 5.11 a.m., 8.11 a.m., 11.11 a.m., and 5.11 p.m. PDT, opening for the strong influx of the eclipse. Sunday, June 14th, July 14th, sorry, Global Unity Meditations at 5.11 a.m., 8.11 a.m., 11.11 a.m., and 5.11 p.m. PDT, opening for the strong influx of the eclipse. And then Tuesday, July 16th, at 2.30 p.m., PDT, partial lunar eclipse and full moon, finishing the solstice eclipse sandwich. Focus on revelation as many will have shifted to higher trajectories, which provide stability for this to unfold. We are opening and offering bridges for all souls to cross to the ascended realities. Free will is free will, choices are choices. You, beloved awakened heart, are unique in your expression, even as we migrate to the experience of complete unity. The vibrational domino effect of collective DNA activation is on. We receive what we have worked for all these lifetimes, the quantum activation of the organic ascension. In our divine service, our focus is on preparing the most supportive way to teach, clear, raise the newly awakened to align with the higher realities we are already embodying. For some, the embodiment process is overwhelming. All you can do is be and integrate. For others, the bliss is launching us into the new, Take supreme care of the body since this is a DNA-based operation. It is a completely different state of consciousness. Let us take whatever leaps, creative actions, and changes necessary to support the acceleration. Let us show humanity what is possible with ascension. In love, light, and service, Sandra Walter from SandraWalter.com I'm Paul from PrimeDisclosure.com let us know how you're feeling, what you're experiencing in the comments below these, this video. I'll have links in the description below for more on these events coming up and on the Mayan calendar. Also coming up July 5th, 6th, and 7th in Sedona, Arizona. 
our brothers and sisters of the light, M and Miss M and Tolik from Andromeda, and many other light workers will be gathering in Sedona for the Seventh Seal Summit. And you can find out more information on that on primedisclosure.com. Just click on the link at the top, Seventh Seal Summit. Also, I'd like to thank everyone on mission for the Ecuador Healing Retreat Center and everyone that has joined us so far to raise funds for this endeavor with a CBD business. We now have 294 members on the team, and this is growing daily. You can join us at cbdpeaceoil.com. I'll put a link in the description below for that also. So thank you all for shining your light brightly into the night. Thank you for your, the work that you are doing, and thank you for the sacrifice you made for coming here in this most challenging but most auspicious times in all of eternity. I appreciate each and every one of you for your support, for sharing these videos, for sharing your love and light with the world, with this realm, with all of life, all light. So thank you every each and every one of you. I love you all. Namaste.